hi everyone welcome back to my channel sugar mama tv so i get asked a lot like how do i fit everything into my day and how do i stay sane now you guys see me on youtube with a full face of makeup you see me in a high vibration state where i'm talking about something that i'm really passionate and excited about it and you see my instagram account where it's filtered it's photo touched it's it's not what i'm like all the time and whilst i try and be as authentic as I possibly can because I really value that and I know that you guys value that I am a human there are days where I have like bad moods I get disappointed in people I might be short with people I get frustrated I might be a little bit lazy and I will also eat crappy foods now when those days happen I try and catch myself as quickly as possible and I try and reground myself recalibrate myself and put things back into perspective and change my attitude. Now, when I look at um, how I have a great day versus how I have a bad day, there is one key element foundation trigger that helps increase the probability of a great day versus a bad day. And it all boils down to the way that I start my day, my morning habit system. So I thought it'd be really helpful to share with you guys how I start my day because when I do this religiously I have a much better day the day runs smoothly I still of course I still get challenges but I rise to them and I deal with them in a really calm proactive rational way rather than losing it or running away and I think these tips are really helpful because when I've shared them with other people in the past and they've incorporated them the feedback has always been amazing so I want you to remember Good habits are really hard to form, but they are amazing to live with. And when you feel how amazing they are, they become sacred to you and your routine system. But bad habits are really easy to form and they can be incredibly toxic to your life, especially over the long run. So these ideas that I share with you, I want you to consider them as potential new habits for you and starting your days off on a really positive note. So tip number one is wake up early. I'm talking early, like 5 a.m. Now you do not need to do this every day per week. Even if you can just do this one day per week, you will learn to love it. And ideally try and make that one day per week if you can, Monday, because that's gonna start your week off on an amazing note. Now when you wake up early, you have this incredibly precious, sacred time where you can actually get so much work done. You can really power through things that are important to you. You have no one calling you, you have no one texting you, or no one emailing you. It's this incredible silence. And I cannot tell you how much work you will find that you can get four hours worth of work done in like an hour and a half when no one's disturbing you at this time. Now, how you choose to use this time is completely your choice. You may choose to use this time to exercise, to meditate, or to do your chores or to simply prepare for the day like getting your lunch ready or preparing your outfit for the day whatever it may be but when you use this time for you you actually feel really good you learn to fill up your own emotional glass and prepare for an incredible day you feel so much more in control and in charge of your life recommended habit number two is to feed your brain one of my favorite things to do when I wake up early in the morning, and this is great because you can do this actually from bed, the warmth of your bed, and that is to feed your brain. Feed your brain with powerful quotes, with motivational talks, inspiring blog posts. I typically start my day by listening to a motivational talk on YouTube. Now, if you like Sugar Mama TV on Facebook, you will see that I often share the best motivational talks that I hear on the Facebook account. And I'll even tell you sometimes I listen to these like three times in a row because they're so incredibly powerful. But when I listen to these um, motivational talks, it really helps me adjust and get real with my attitude and perspective on life. I no longer feel like a victim. I no longer feel sorry for myself. I no longer complain about how hard it is. And I realize I have got this. I'm strong, I am capable, and I need to constantly raise my bar and be real. And when you are dedicated to something, it doesn't matter what comes in your way. You find ways around it. Now, I highly recommend you do this, and I will list um, in the video description box below my top five favorite motivational talks on YouTube. 
but if you do this on a regular basis you will find that naturally your own perspective and attitude changes and you really raise your own bar and you also raise your own level of energy so feed your brain in the morning recommended healthy habit number three is to read your goals we all need goals in life when we don't have goals we just drift and a year goes by and we're still in the same rut but when we actually take the time to think about what's important to us and write those goals down and read them and rewrite them and read them and rewrite them on a regular basis a daily basis on as a, a morning motivational habit we are so in line, uh, we are open to the opportunities of those goals, we are open to the benefits of those goals, and we are constantly working towards those goals. We are less likely to get distracted or lose motivation. So make sure you have goals, make sure that you read those goals in the morning, and even better and even more powerful, rewrite those goals pen to paper so that you can physically see that that goal is becoming a reality you are taking it from inside your mind and creating it into its physical presence in black and white on pen to paper do it scribble it doesn't matter just make sure you read and write your your goals every day healthy morning habit number four is to eat healthy now i do a lot of intermittent fasting so i actually skip breakfast but when you when I do put something into my um, body after fasting I will make sure the first thing both drinking and eating is healthy so I will scull a large glass of water and then the first bit of food that goes into my stomach has got to be healthy so a piece of fruit some nuts some sort of healthy carbohydrate it is so important that we start our day on on a healthy nutritious note because that is going to set the bar for the rest of the day if we set the bar up here and then we tend to like I do get a sweet tooth in the late afternoon go down at least it, it gets quarantined it can't get too bad but when we start the day on it with a really unhealthy breakfast or, or meal the bar is low and it's only going to get more toxic and the, what we put into our body will be even less nutritious and unhealthy so start the day by putting something substantial and nutritious into your body your mind and your body will really thank you by giving you the right type of energy to power through your amazing day recommended healthy habit number five is visualization and affirmations often I wake up and think oh my god I have got so much to get through today how am I possibly gonna do it it's just not you know I start like this negative self-talk now when I do that again I catch myself and I will take a couple of minutes to step back breathe and do some positive visualization work along with affirmation so I will see myself getting through the work I will even see and feel the sense of adrenaline carrying me through my day helping me you know maintain my focus and my concentration so that I get the stuff that I wanted to get done done I get through my priorities I feel like I'm making progress I Think about the feeling at the end of the day where I can pat myself on the back and go, you know what, I, I worked really hard, I did my best I could do, I didn't get distracted, I stayed focused and motivated and ambitious during the day. I spend the time mentally preparing and visualizing and seeing that day be a success. And of course, I see myself handling any challenges or obstacles in a calm rational manner where I'm creative and coming up with solutions that are going to help squash or overcome that idea and also take the time to know that through those visualizations I'm also going to learn from those challenges that come my way I'm going to experience another form of personal growth in my day also affirmations telling yourself you've got this you can do it you're capable you're really capable this is going to be even the challenge of the day is going to be great because it means going to mean you're going to become stronger and wiser always try and come from a positive place see the blessings in everything recommended healthy habit number six is connection when you get out of bed early in the morning it's kind of hard sometimes leaving your partner there like looking really comfortable and warm in bed or seeing your child lying there so after you've got up and done all the things that you need to do to fill your emotional glass why don't you go back to that person and lie with them get into bed with them cuddle them spoon them talk to them tell them how much they mean to you how much they, you love them um, bond with them connect with them in any physical way that you like <laughs> and talk about their day talk about what they've got coming up tell them how much they mean to you plan something together that you're going to do at the end of the day where you reconnect together 
Now, another great thing sometimes you can do is experience um, the morning wake up together. I know when Tom doesn't have to get up super early to go to work, we will often get up early together and go for a walk together and talk and talk about things that we, challenges that we're experiencing or talk about ideas or plan things together. It's a great time, a great time to connect with those important people in our lives and really strengthen the bond between us. And then recommended healthy morning habit number seven is effort. When you are getting ready to start your day, put that little bit more effort into your physical appearance. Not for anyone else, but just for you in the way that you feel good. So maybe put on some earrings that you wouldn't normally put on. Maybe put a little bit of makeup on or even just spray yourself with some perfume. Just put that little bit more effort purely for you so that you feel really good about yourself and you know that you're stepping out of your home looking calm, put together and feeling great about yourself. One little trick that I do sometimes where I try and get out of putting effort when I get ready in the morning is I say to myself, how would I feel if I bumped into an ex-boyfriend looking like this? And sometimes I will say to myself, okay, I might just go and put on a little bit of mascara or I might maybe go and change this food stained top and put something on that's clean and ironed. By putting just that little tiny bit of extra effort can just help you feel better about yourself. And when we feel good about ourselves, we handle challenges in such a better, more enlightened, rational way. Now, I really hope this video helps you have more great days than bad days. Let me know what you think of this video and let me know if you have other morning healthy habits that you would like to share with other subscribers. Sharing is caring. That's the mantra in this house and one that I share with Rocco all the time. So I love hearing from you and let me know if you have any other video requests. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Ciao for now and I'll see you soon.